It's been called the biggest military disaster of the conflict for the Ukrainian military. The stinging defeat during the Battle of Ilovaisk in late August shocked Ukraine and its efforts at regaining control over insurgent occupied areas of the east of the country. Writing in Newsweek, Lucian Kim describes the battle that still reverberates across Ukraine and the West. Kim writes that the battle in the town of Ilovaisk, during which Russian-led insurgents and regular Russian forces encircled unprepared Ukrainian fighters, brought, quote, into sharp focus the covert war Putin is fighting for control over what he calls Novorossiya. Kim puts it in the context of Ukraine's political transition following the Euromaidan protests, which ousted former Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych. He describes a disorganized Ukrainian military that was ill-equipped for battle 23 years after the fall of the Soviet Union and how the government had to swiftly mobilize fighting forces. By early August, Kim writes, Ukrainian forces were worn out and spread dangerously thin across hundreds of miles of countryside. An investigative committee found that as many as 1,000 Ukrainian soldiers were killed during the Russian-led siege of the city, with some 300 dying while trying to break out of the encirclement. Among the casualties were hundreds of volunteers who joined battalions to support the Ukrainian military. But the Russian side also suffered casualties. Kim quotes Moscow-based peace activist Yelena Vasilyeva, who claims that more than 1,000 Russian forces were killed during the battle, most of them conscripts who didn't even know that they were going to war, she says.